Hello my gorgeous fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is your TGIF love reading for Friday the 25th of June. Great to connect with you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this reading and thank you to my new subscribers, I should say. Very grateful and thank you for um, the um, continued support from my regular subscribers. Can't speak today. Interesting. Um, and I say interesting, guys, because the message coming through for you is someone really wants to speak up. Somebody really wants to express their truth, their feelings. They want to reveal something. But there's a sense of holding it in, I have to say, up until this point of time. So there could be a big reveal going on at this point of time. Let's get in. Using a crystal quartz to connect through with Archangel Michael and the Divine. The deck is, as always, the Gilded Tarot, Ciro Marchetti. All right. Here we go, guys. Calling on the divine, the higher angels and ascended masters from the pure white light. Please guide me in this TGIF love reading for my fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wow, card has already flown out. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Friday the 25th of June into this weekend and a brand new week. Thank you. Michael's energy is with me. I'm also hearing Archangel Haniel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Jophiel. Thank you, Michael. Angela and Rose, my spirit guides are with me. Cedric is with me. <laughs> okay, so sweet. Yes, yeah, oh wow. Definitely a big reveal. I say that because Michael showed me a car room salesman just taking off a dust cover off a sports car. Big reveal. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Okay, people. I'm going to show you this card that fell out, first of all, because it's exactly the energy I was feeling. Very interesting. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Yeah. So someone's come out of their head. They are ready to make a decision, ready to speak their truth. Okay. Putting that on one side. All right, guys, let's delve in. This is your energy, fire signs. This is your person's energy. Thank you guys again for time stamping. Much appreciated. All right, how's that looking on camera? Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. As always, moving into Psychic Tarot, John Holland. Can we have some energy please from this deck, Michael? Thank you. Energy from this deck. Okay. That really is speaking to me. Okay. All right. Lastly, shifting into this little deck, light, Lighted Pathway, Light Worker Tarot and Oracle. Saying hi to Barbara if you're there. Hi, Barbara. She's lovely, fantastic tarot reader. So check her out if you haven't already. Okay. Lighted pathway, three cards, please, Michael. Thank you. Wow, all flying out. Okay, one more. There we go. Okay. So, guys, if you're ready, let's start. So, we're delving into your energy first, fire sign. Let's see what is on your mind and how you're feeling maybe your situation at this point of time. The King of Pentacles, beautiful, grounded, stable. You could be thinking about an earth sign, male, masculine energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, okay. Or you're getting yourself grounded. You could be working on your finances or you could be ready for commitment, fire sign. Who knows? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Six of Pentacles in the reverse, building up your finances again, wanting to give a little bit to a situation. I'm feeling, I'm getting the energy rather, or I'm hearing testing the water. You're wanting to potentially build something with someone, but I feel as if you're not wanting to rush it. You're wanting to be very grounded, acting as an earth sign at this point of time. Simply, you could be thinking about someone who may 
be in a commitment with somebody else and is not divorcing, feeling a bit sad about that for some of you. Let's see what the third card is. Oh, Nine of Wands. Wow. Now, this is not in the reverse, guys, which for me as a reader is a little bit of player energy, in and out energy. It's not. So, Fire Sign, you may be wanting to move forward very quickly towards someone, but for some of you, you're already in a relationship. You don't intend in getting divorced. But you could be wanting to build a relationship with someone with a view of maybe finalizing a divorce later on, seeing how things go. Or well, there's a sense of knowing you're ready for commitment, but not quite sure if this is your person. So you're coming forward with a lot of passion, but you're just giving a little bit for now. It's the energy I'm getting. Let's have a look at your person. Knight of Swords, I'm hearing I'm on board with this. Yes, let's talk about this. Let's communicate. Let's see how this goes. Aquarius Libra Gemini, straightforward, honest communication. I feel this person is very much on board with what you are wanting and planning. There's a sense of two people coming together. The Fall in Reverse. Now, this is someone who also doesn't want to do anything too risky. They're not wanting to kind of just leap forward into something they're not sure about. So they're taking their time as well. I feel we've got two people who are wanting to be with each other, wanting to get to know each other, wanting to build something, but neither of them are wanting to do anything that could pertain to everything crashing very soon. They're, the energy is, let's just take our time. Let's not rush forward into this. Interesting. Yeah, two of swords in reverse. So someone is now expressing their feelings or this person is opening up to this, seeing the truth. So whoever your person is, is understanding your situation, fire sign, your truth. They're on board with wanting to see if this is going to work. And there's a lot of straightforward communication, honest communication. I like it. Cards on the table time, like it. Yeah, I know your situation. I know what you're wanting. I'm going to be with you on this. I want to build on this connection with you, but let's not do anything too fast too soon. Nice. Spiritual union. Two people who know they're on the same page. Two people who could have been connected in a past life. Both making decisions to delve into this connection to see where it takes them. Patience. Someone could be dealing with a Sagittarius. This could be a challenge. <laughs> I'm laughing. Michael's showing me two people flirting. Try not to get too physical, but it's very, very difficult. A mm, lot of chemistry, a lot of past life connection. Two people who are trying to take it slow. Be patient, guys, but it's going to be difficult. I'm just saying. Mm hmm. All right. I like it. Moving on. So I feel that someone is moving on from a situation, breaking free, maybe actually relocating. Someone is also moving away from what might have been a very difficult time into a lighter time with more freedom, more excitement, into a situation that's actually going to grow and move into some kind of expansion. Nice energy. I feel we've got two people here who are building on a connection. One person could be deciding they're ready for commitment, but they're not wanting to rush. The other person is on board or fire sign. You are sat in the King of Pentacles. You could be still kind of connected financially to a situation, but I feel that you're on the brink of letting this go and you're wanting to put your toe in the water with this person, but you're being very open and honest about your situation. I really love it. Wow, guys. On that note, should we delve a little bit deeper? Here we go. Archangel Michael, can we start, please, with my Sagittarius? What are my Sagittarians planning, please? Sag, you've made a decision and you're wanting to be very open about... The situation you're in, you're wanting a new cycle, you're wanting big change. 
Yes. But you'll just want to take things slowly. You're kind of tentatively expressing your thoughts and feelings to your person about maybe any blocks you have, any situations you're in. But you're also expressing that you really want to be with them. But it could be that you're asking this person to be patient with you whilst you maybe go through some kind of situation, okay? Yeah. I'm hearing, I'm hearing Pisces. To be nearer someone, maybe moving out of living with someone. Wow. Sag, King of Wands. You're taking action. Okay. You're taking charge of your life. You have been feeling very down, very sad, a bit on your own, a bit stressed, sleepless nights. You're wanting to get out of that mindset, that energy. But with the Page of Swords, it pertains to you speaking a difficult message of truth, which could be that you are still kind of connected to, to a situation. Another love interest, a committed partner, a family dynamic. OK, Page of Swords, I'm sorry, this is my situation. I want to do this. I want to be with you. But this is my situation. You're being honest. Yeah, you're putting the truth out there. Wheel of Fortune. OK, this is you believing that you are wanting to move on to a new cycle into a destined connection with this person. It's going to be, bring big change into your life. You could be connecting to a Scorpio. Six of Swords, you could be moving away from a Scorpio. This could be, again, quietly moving towards someone with the moon. Hmm. A little bit of fear. Make sure, Sag, everything is out on the table because this can be moving quietly towards someone holding secrets. Just be careful, okay? Four of Cups in reverse. You do want to accept love that is offered to you. You're wanting to start slowly, though. Page of Pentacles. Let's just take things slowly. You could be talking about child support, giving someone child support. You could be talking about a marriage. You could be talking about religion and faith. Okay, that could be the block. Either that you're married to someone that you are trying to detach from, or it could be that faith differences of religion is a block. Page of Cups, expressing love. We've got Taurus energy there too. Four Swords in Reverse. You've been heartbroken over a situation, but you're taking action. It's going to take some time. With temperance, you are going to have to hold back a little bit. That's your Sag energy. The High Priestess, someone is very intuitive and understands your situation, maybe more than you think. You could be connecting to a Pisces. Knight of Cups, there's an expression of love. I want this with you. Six of Cups, you could be returning to somebody that you met in the past. Six of Swords, sorry, Six of Wands, Six of Swords, Six of Wands, victory and success, wanting to be successful, King of Cups, you have a lot of love for this person and you may well be deciding to move, to travel, to relocate. So Saj, if you are trying to end a marriage, you could be saying to your person, I want to be with you, I want us to live together, I want to be with you quite seriously, but... This is a situation I'm in. I can't rush this situation. Okay? Yeah. All right, Sash. All right. So, Michael's telling me to turn the deck. He sometimes does. We're now moving into Leo. Leo, my Leos. Beautiful Leos. 
I'm a Pisces, but I always resonate with my Leo, my Leo moon. Let's see. I feel that someone here, Leo, is opening up. Somebody here is wanting to connect. Somebody here has made a decision. Yeah. Somebody here is making a decision. Oh, gosh. I'm hearing, I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. Wow. You may be a bit nervous, Leo, or this person could be nervous. There could also be some kind of... I'm trying to get the words, Michael. Fear, fear, fear kicking in. There may be something that you're not quite sure about. You're not quite sure about. You could be connecting, I'm hearing Capricorn to a Capricorn or a Libra. You're definitely wanting to take your time, but it's going to be difficult, Leo, because I think there's going to be an awful lot of chemistry between you and someone else. I think this is you maybe saying to this person, can we just slow it down? Can we just slow it down? I really want to be with you, but... Mm, let's just take our time. Let's not rush this. Now, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, they usually don't rush anyway, so that's fine. But there's a little bit of, again, nervous energy coming from you. Is it the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? Is this person being open with me? Do I really want this? I'm also feeling, for some of you, Leo, you may be questioning at the last minute whether or not you want a relationship or whether or not you want to stay single. It could be a bit of a shocking revelation. You know, suddenly come, someone comes along after you've waited for someone to offer you a, a proper commitment and you're there thinking, oh, well, now it's actually happening. Do I really want this? <laughs> okay. I feel someone really wants to be with you, Leo. My goodness. I'm actually hearing Virgo now. I think you may be in the nicest sense, Leo. That really wants to come out. Keeping this person a little bit at arm's length just to make sure that you two are definitely on the same page. That's the energy I'm getting. Let's move these out of the way before I cover them up. Okay. Goodness, Leo. Ace of Pentacles. This person is pretty serious. Okay. Could be switched. This could be you offering someone the start of a commitment. Someone's opening up, Leo. Somebody is moving towards you. They could have been hiding their feelings. They're opening up to you now. Or oh, this is you. Wow. This is someone who may see you as the Empress. Taurus Libra energy. Wow. Beautiful energy. Two of Cups. Deep past life soulmate. Two people who know they are destined to be together. Three of Pentacles. This person wants to work in partnership with you. They want to build with you, Leo. Four of Wands. They could be talking about moving in together. The Chariot. Now, there could be a Cancerian in the mix or you're undecided. There's a little bit of nervousness. There's a little bit of, I don't know, is this too fast, too soon? You're a bit nervous. You're looking at this energy, what this person wants, and you're feeling a bit nervous. But maybe, Leo, this is what you've realised you've manifested. Or whoever this is, could be a Virgo, Scorpio or Gemini, has manifested you. Wow, they're a bit obsessed with you, Leo. This is also Capricorn. Interesting, I felt that energy. There's you. Yeah, this person could be a little bit obsessed with you. Maybe a bit unhealthy, wanting this, a bit stubborn, a bit... I'm keeping hold of my Leo. You like to feel as if you've got a sense of freedom a little bit though leo so this may be a bit controlling for you you're holding back if there's anything slightly toxic going on you're definitely holding back justice in the reverse somebody here could be breaking a contract or you're feeling that something here is a bit unbalanced ace of wands they could just be leo just a huge amount of sexual chemistry with someone the lovers, Gemini. Do I want this connection? This is deep past life, guys. Two of Pentacles. Do I want this? Do I want this? 
Aquarian energy. Some of you, you may feel this is your wish come true. This is destiny. But there is the fear. Interesting, Leo. There is the fear. Hangman. In reverse. There's some kind of wake up call. But you're going to get or you're realizing someone might have ascended to understand the depth of the connection between the two of you. Yeah, you're realizing someone actually really wants this with you. Someone's in love with you, Leo. They see you sitting in pre-empress energy. You're willing to give love, but you may be slightly nervous about moving this forward too fast too soon into something really committed i mean somebody may literally come out of the blue leo and say i love you i've been holding it back i want to be with you can we move in together can we get the show on the road and you're a bit kind of whoa well can we just date first of all <laughs> you know? queen of cups there's a lot of love here you have for someone possibly a virgo but you're in deep contemplation i think your reaction to this person is with the page of wands let's take it slowly now, there may also be a little bit of uncomfortable energy. This is someone who could be a fair bit younger than you, Leo. I mean, you know, we've got an empress and we've got a page. Nine of cups in reverse. You're saying absolutely not. Do I want to get into a situation where there's overindulgence? Not dealing with somebody who just wants to have a little bit of fun. And you're standing your ground so you could be wanting to make sure this person isn't just wanting to be with you for a bit, little bit of fun, you know, to overindulge themselves. And you're standing very firmly in your truth. I also feel, Leo, that you're going to speak your mind. You're going to tell this person how you feel, which could simply be, look, there's a lot of chemistry between us. I really want this with you, too. But let's not rush in to doing anything too serious too quickly. I just get a feeling, Leo, this person may be a little bit panicky that you're going to be moving on with somebody else and they're rushing in to kind of tie you down before anyone else does. And you won't like that. <laughs> you will speak your truth about that. You know, you're not going to be tied down by anyone if they're just being a little bit overindulgent or they're a bit obsessed with you. You're going to be pushing back a little bit. But I do feel there's a lot of chemistry with this person and a strong life energy, strong life, strong past life connection. Now, last but not least, Aries. Aries, what are you up to? Aries, you're going for your happiness. You could be moving. You could be detaching from someone, something. I'm hearing you may get a bit of pushback. Someone's going to get a tower moment, I'm hearing tower moment yeah um someone's someone's going to be a bit shocked about what you're going to come out with it could be that you're suddenly ending something Le uh, ooh, leo aries sorry okay you're suddenly ending something aries now i don't know could it be to be with a leo i'm not sure you're wanting to Stand up for what you believe is right and Aries, you could be you could be walking away from a situation. Wow. There may be a little bit of sadness involved, I've got to admit. There could be a little bit of God have I done the right thing. I I may be feeling here a slight sense of Dare I say it, remorse. Maybe something didn't work out. But I feel you know where you're going, Aries. You know what you want to do. Oh, I'm hearing you know who you want to be with. And you're going to make it happen. This has been, I'm hearing, a very long time that you've been waiting to take charge of the situation. It could have been, I'm hearing, very complicated, very complex for you. Yes, very complicated, very complex. I'm hearing Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You could be going towards an earth sign that you've had a bit of history with. Yes. Maybe you felt very disconnected from this person. That's it. And you want to kind of make amends. 
Let's just see what we have here, guys. Okay. Oh, gosh. All right. So, Aries, we start with your card of the Emperor. The Emperor. Sorry, guys. Got to straighten the cards. You know I do. Okay. You're taking charge, Aries. Oh, my goodness. You're going for your happiness. Leo energy. Fascinating. You could be traveling. Or you are detaching from someone. You could be detaching from a Leo. But you're definitely speaking your truth. You're ending a situation. You're cutting out the past. Wow. My goodness, guys. The tower. There's going to be a shock for someone. This could be somebody you're moving towards who's going to be completely shocked. Five of Wands, inner conflict, arguments and disagreements. Someone could be asking you, are you still in a long-term relationship? Because the Emperor can be husband, father. You know, are you coming towards me wanting to be happy, but are you still in a relationship? You may be saying to someone, well... This person is on the other side of the world, so who cares? <laughs> I've, got to be, I've got to be honest, that could be. But the world is also completion. So you could be saying to someone, no, I haven't done it yet, but I am seeking legal advice to end a situation. Yeah, three of wands. You're waiting for your ships to come in. You're wanting to turn your back on the past. You're wanting change, Aries. Seven of wands. You've been very strong about this. People could have wanted to, to change your mind. People could have fought against this. No, you can't do this. You're doing it. You're leaving the past behind. You want your happiness or you're leaving a family dynamic behind. Wow. You could or you could be relocating to be with a family. Maybe because you've lost your job. You need to return to a family dynamic. Five of Cups, there's a sense of remorse, there's a sense of sadness. You could be looking at it glass half empty. You're facing Judgment Day or you're wanting to return to a situation. Ten of Wands, whatever this is, Aries, you're putting down a massive burden that you've been carrying. Yeah, you could be flying to see someone. You could be sending someone messages of passion. I'm hearing I'm on my way. Knight of Pentacles, you could be waiting for money to come in. Or someone is asking you a very straight question, Aries. Are you going to be offering me commitment or not? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Wow. Someone wants a commitment with you, Aries. Or someone is asking you a very straight question about your karmic partner. Are you still married? Seven of Pentacles. You're reviewing your money. Aries, you're looking at what you've invested in a situation and you could be building up more finances to make a big move. Well, the five of pentacles in reverse is you coming out of feeling very disconnected from someone and you're wanting them back in your life. But whoever this is, Aries, is a bit nervous that you are potentially still connected to another person and they're asking a lot of very straight questions. So guys, wow, let's move into Lighted Pathway. Starting off with my Sag, this card. Sagittarius. Ooh, this has potential, Sag. Yeah, you may know that this situation has potential. I'm hearing slowly, 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 which is very unlike you, Sag. But I feel this is you wanting to take this slowly because you don't want this to just dissolve. I think you want to build on this. Nice. Okay, Leo, middle one. Oh, Leo. So someone realizes that two of you actually complement each other. The two of you are on the same page. The two of you get on very well. You both have maybe a similar work ethic. There's chemistry there. Everything kind of ties together. And you want this, Leo. Finally, wow, Aries, loyalty. Now, someone is asking you to be loyal to them. You are also trying to work out whether or not this person is going to be loyal to you or loyalty is in question. Wow. OK, guys. So lovely fire signs. I'm leaving it there. If one of these was your story, do reach out. We can see where it goes for you. 
Sending love and light your way, many blessings, and take care of yourselves. Bye now.